Hi guys, it's Reza from CatSpace and this week's video blog's topic is about SOLIDWORKS costing. So in here, I've got a multi-body part like a cabinet that has been made from sheet metal parts as well as some structural members such as these ones. And now I want to uh, have a cost estimation of how, like, you know, how much it would that cost if I want to manufacture it. So I can use a module called SOLIDWORKS costing. Uh, which is available for SOLIDWORKS professional package and above. It's located under Evaluate of your command manager and costing. So if you click once there, you can see the interface of costing. It's going to appear in your task pane and it's got a title of costing. And on your left as well, there's going to be costing manager appearing next to the tabs next to your feature tree, which has the information about the setup cost or custom operations as well as if the parts or bodies has been costed yet or not. So as you can see on your right, there's a selection for the template, which is a main template for your multi body. So every single information about costing is being read from this template. So you can define the currency, uh, you know, the material sort of cost, um, the actually the cost for each operation and so on so you can put all those information in these templates in here you've got a body list so each one of these bodies can be costed individually with the uh, if, if I select them you can see they are highlighted in there and if I can just you can see the symbol of developments or structural members and you can see that there is a type of body as a selection as a structural member I can change that to be only a fixed cost here or if I change it back it reads from the information that's given to it from the template and if I change the method you can see that I've got uh, various methods to work with if I go for structural members and define it it just um, reads the information from the template from the structural member method and calculates the costing with respect to the length weight or the information that actually is given from the model the same thing goes for sheet metal parts and if the type of body is sheet metal, I can change it again to a custom or a fixed sort of cost. And as a method, I can select it to be a sheet metal or machine plate. There's a button here. So if I just click on begin cost estimation, it's going to go and calculate all the costing based on information provided from the template as well as the body. So notice your left, there are two more folders added called structural bodies and sheet metal bodies. You can see the total cost of all the structural bodies here is listed there. So if I expand this one, there is a breakdown of all the structural members with their corresponding costs written in there. If I expand this one as well, it gives me this structural member and the template that has been um, actually the information has been uh, obtained from. The same thing goes for sheet metal. So if I expand that, you can see that there's going to be the breakdown of the uh, sheet metal members. And on your right, you get to define the quality, uh, sorry, the quantity of your parts as a total number of parts and lot sizes here. You can also count for markup or discount here. And if you change this markup or discount, you've got these options to use. And then you can add a percentage of total cost. And if I change it back to like five person, for instance, you can see I've got five person increase. So it can give you a very good comparison of what actually you can do for a markup or discount. And it actually compares it with the previous change that you have made. SOLIDWORKS 2016 introduces a new capability for costing for assemblies, which I'm going to talk uh, about in future video blocks.